good afternoon, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. I got some big news for you on what's going on with this tropical wave, this potential Gulf hurricane that is forming up soon. Matter of fact, I'm showing the latest information, not only what it could do, but what is coming afterwards is playing a part. Matter of fact, you see these two ensembles going straight west to Texas. This is nothing to do with this invest, this has nothing to do with this potential tropical storm and hurricane. This has to do with the next tropical wave just zooming through the Caribbean and coming towards the Gulf of Mexico. Not saying that we have a big hurricane coming. I'm just showing you where these are coming from. I will show you in the video. Thank you everyone for helping out, alerting people, hitting that like button, getting this in front of people so they can see exactly what's going on. I appreciate every single one of y'all. You truly all are the best just for caring for others. That is almost rare these days. So thank you so much for being such a caring person. Now for today, you can see that we have Invest 97L. We have 70% chance of formation in seven days, but we'll also have 30% chance in the next 48 hours. And you can see it is moving west at 21 miles per hour. So moving west would put it right on these southern side of these tracks. Now you can literally see after we go about 48 hours, almost 72 hours, the storm system is going to be right here in the Gulf of Mexico, and it could either go right here towards the Alabama to Panhandle, Florida, go northern or turn a little bit sooner. Matter of fact, what I'm seeing is if it gets pushed by that high pressure and it starts going over Florida, if it goes over Florida and goes towards the southeast of the lower 48 by Monday, maybe Tuesday at the latest, there's a good chance that could squeeze by the high pressure that's blocking it. We got a high pressure block on the north side that's moving in. We also got a high pressure block moving in from the Atlantic. So this would keep everything roaring in this direction at the same time from this high pressure in this direction. This would just keep that stall effect just sitting there. And then as the high pressure weakens in Atlantic, it would go right up the coast. But if it don't make it by Monday or Tuesday, it will be that back to the west push. So if it goes a little bit quicker, you see 72 hours mark is a little bit further to north. It could make it by by Monday and maybe sneak up the coast, still contain a hurricane status for the Carolinas, maybe even Virginia, which wouldn't be good and potentially be a tropical storm or a hurricane going to Florida before the hurricane over the coast. A lot of them, especially the hurricane models, are bringing it further to the west, a little bit slower. You can see right here, the group is a little bit slower where this is going to be in 72 hours versus this being a little bit faster. And you can see that here. So there's two different paths. There's going to be the faster track. It could possibly go over Florida as a tropical storm, maybe intensified last minute. We know how it gets the warmest waters is over here in the eastern Gulf of Mexico. And then in five days, maybe go right back towards a hurricane right up the east coast, even curving with the coast. This is if it makes it by Monday, Tuesday at the latest and slips out before these high pressures come together and block that chance for it to leave. If this don't happen, the quick one will be going by what the hurricane models are showing it further to the west and strengthening up even more. You can see this change when you look at the model intensity guidance. So first it showed that it will not be able to go out. It will be blocked. Everything's going to be slow. And it showed this potentially going all the way up to cat two status. This will bring a potential tropical storm to a hurricane in three to four days, right along the northern side of Florida, maybe even the whole west side of the peninsula of Florida could be getting ripped right up. Now the newest one shows that, hey, it could make it quicker, maybe go all the way up to a tropical storm, maybe a weak tropical storm, maybe a strong tropical storm to a hurricane still going towards Florida if this was to show true towards what's going towards the GFS, the latest run. After going on landfall, staying a tropical storm all across landfall of Florida, Coming back out by the Carolinas, strengthening back up towards a tropical storm to a hurricane again. This is the latest intensity. This is going to change. Everything is going to move around until we get that surface low. When we get that surface low, whether it's on the northern side or the southern side of Cuba, is going to play everything in where this storm is going. Now, the latest chance for just a tropical depression with the Euro, literally in 24 hours, has it forming already 100%. And it shows it will remain strong all the way around. And you see how it gets that block. It stays strong all the way for 72 hours. Once you go past 72 hours, 
everything slows down because it starts hitting that high pressure, starts getting that potential stall effect. And you can see this from the latest run with the European model, deterministic, as it comes up as a group of disorganized thunderstorms, it strengthens up, but then it gets that early turn right towards Monday, Tuesday at the latest. Look at that. It couldn't make it out by the end of Monday, by Tuesday. Once it hit the Tuesday factor, it stayed there, got trapped, becomes a stall, strengthens up to a tropical storm, a hurricane right there off the Carolinas and starts going back to the west again because of that high pressure expanding out. If it don't go out by Monday, late Monday, it will get trapped into a stall and go back west again. But it don't make sense. When you look at the latest model run with the European, you see how weak it has it all the way to northeast Gulf of Mexico. This is past four days. We're not even seeing a tropical depression. We're not even seeing a tropical storm. It's just a tropical wave. This is not believable. It's moving into a lot of very warm waters, above average waters. The dry air is not getting involved in it, and it don't have a lot of shear hitting on it. So this is not believable. Even the intensity guidance says in 72 hours or four days, it's going to strengthen up from a tropical storm towards a hurricane. So this right here, is not believable but still to show it to you it shows it going across finally strengthening up after it crosses off of florida literally in six days which is against all the information still showing it will get blocked even on this run and go back to the west strengthening up right there off the coast of the carolinas now when you go by the control member of the euro you can see it brings the most intensity of the vorticity growing on the northern gulf showing that it would go into this path and start intensifying into this direction not going out to the east and this is what we see according to the hurricane models as well matter of fact when you look through the hurricane models when you look through the weather research and forecast model this is the same model that showed us that it will be going over hispaniola and it would go west a little further to the southern side and make a more westward push which shows correct this one shows now in 48 hours that it will move over a little bit more, be on the southern side of Cuba, not the northern side, and start strengthening it up as it goes into the Gulf of Mexico. It would not remain weak. It would start strengthening it up to a strong system right there in the Gulf. And this is 72 hours, not a weak tropical disturbance this is a tropical storm forming up potentially becoming a hurricane and headed north now there's two different hurricane analysis forecast models we only see this when we have an invest so the a the a model is showing that that will be right around the northern gulf of mexico also shows it potentially could remain weak as it goes in that general direction now when you take a look you also have the b model it takes it a little bit to the west also shows that strong high pressure also shows it strengthening up to a hurricane right before landfall it's not some weak wave going to the east you can also see on your precipitation this is only the next five days but when you take a look at it you can see all the heavy precipitation showing that that system will be right here headed to the north you can also see this on the b model so it's not just the a model both of them is showing that system is going right north in the Gulf of Mexico, a little bit wider. Even when we bring out the H Wharf, the older hurricane model, you can see it shows it right on the southern side of Cuba as we go towards the 48 hours marks, just like the weather research and forecast model shows, and shows it will start intensifying in 72 hours, just like we're seeing on the same weather research and forecast model, showing it will keep intensifying all the way towards a Cat 2 hurricane right before a landfall, right by Tallahassee, right by the Florida Panhandle. And then you see it's still doing that stall effect. You see that for hours. Still doing that stall effect, still add up to a lot of heavy rainfall and winds. Showing that it will be right towards a Cat 2 hurricane, bringing you all the way up towards almost 90 miles per hour sustained winds as that heads to the north. Now watch this. This is where you're going to see that next wave coming after the 10th towards the middle of August. Remember, it's potentially going right towards the coast. If it gets steered by Bermuda High, it could be a fish storm if it turns earlier. When you look at the ensembles, this is the ensembles according to the Euro, and you can see the chances for this to form up, still showing that northward path, just like we've seen in the hurricane models. But 
The latest model run is showing this weakening going over. So if it goes over by Monday, it could be a weaker system. We could get away with that, be a bad flooding event, be a worse event towards the Carolinas and further on, it would definitely strengthen up to a hurricane and they would have problems. If it don't take that Monday path, it will take the rest of these paths to the north. Look at that. After Monday, it starts getting that stalling effect at the same time. Here is that next tropical wave coming through. And look how it just barrels through. Look at that. Barrels all the way through and pushing to the west. That is what the ensembles are showing in the track guidance is that tropical wave coming into play i still do not believe this is going anywhere towards texas and you see it does strengthen up according to these ensembles and it starts getting that westward push after it maybe misses that monday window now you can see the same thing with the geps it will strengthen up and it will either either be this weaker system going by by sunday or monday it's either going to be that or it's going to be the intensification going further towards the west. That's pretty much the two paths this system has to go on. Now you can see one of these by the latest run with the GFS. Well, at least the 12Z. The 18Z will be out later on. Showing it will stay weak, but start strengthening up as it goes towards the coast of Florida. So the Euro showing it being weak is only being seen like that from the Euro. This one shows it could sneak by by that Sunday, Monday time frame, then start adding up to a hurricane right off the coast of the Carolinas and just sit there and dig in for a couple of days and still be right offshore, a little wishy-washy. It could still do something else. That's a lot of time just sitting there. So this is the latest run. By tomorrow or the 18Z, we could see it going another direction. Until we get a surface low, this will not be known. But still, to be accurate, you can see with GFS on that run, it would take some winds over in this direction across Florida all the way towards the coast of the Carolinas. But look at all the energy traveling into the eastern Pacific. you got to remember, all this convection, all this lift in the eastern Pacific creating all these storms, this is all going to propagate to the east. And by the time we go from the middle to late August, this is going to be a big problem for us. Also showing with the rainfall, it could start adding up to a lot still. That part hasn't left. Even the latest with the Ural showing that great weakening still brings a catastrophic amount of flooding, especially to the Carolinas on this run. So now you can see where we're at literally in 72 hours. And you can see this on all of these showing where we could potentially be in 72 hours. It's still a wide array, but we definitely have the eastern Gulf of Mexico, so we got that narrowed down. We got 72 hours right here narrowed down. What happens after that, if it quickens up, it could turn out, make that way out, be a big problem for the east coast as well. If it slows down, it will go further to the west and be more of a threat towards Alabama, maybe even all the way towards Mississippi. And you also can see that next tropical wave coming off pretty strong off the MDR despite the dry air and the dust is still pretty strong compared to these other waves that got the wind knocked out of them. This is the one you got to watch for that's trying to race up and be a part of the problem later on. I will keep you updated. Thank you again for your time, everybody. I will keep you updated first thing in the morning again so we know exactly what's going on with this tropical wave. I appreciate everyone that helps share this information so others can see what the updates are. God bless you and your families and keep all of you very safe. Mark 11. 22 through 26. And Jesus answering saith unto them, Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he saith. Therefore I say unto you, What things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. And when ye stand praying, forgive, if ye have aught against any, that your Father also, which is in heaven, may forgive you your trespasses. But if ye do not forgive, neither will your Father, which is in heaven, forgive your trespasses.
Amen. I wish the best for every single one of y'all. I know all we need is rain out of this, so that's what I'm praying for. Just some rain to come out of the system. We don't want to see one of these worst case scenarios. Everybody just wants some storms, wants some rain. It's going to help out. That would be a great thing. And I will pray against this not to become anything stronger than just that. Remember, above all things, all glory does go to God, our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And I always hope he keeps you safe every single day of your life. You and everyone around you. And forever. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Have a great night, everybody. I'll see you first thing in the morning.